Stephen Hurahan here at BrandMasterAcademy.com and in this video we're going to look at how some of the best brands in the world strategically position their brands and how they use creativity and strategic thinking that you can take into your own brand to inspire your own brand position. Now, when it comes to defining a position for your own brand, one of the first things that you should do is a little bit of research. Now, I'm not talking about going out and researching your competitors. You're not at that stage yet, although that is part of the brand positioning process. I'm talking about going out and researching the biggest brands in the world. How have the biggest brands in the world gone about positioning their brand? Have a look at the position they've taken in the market and how they've used the understanding of their audience and the problems that they have to carve out a unique position in their mind. Have they used creativity? Have they used strategy? In most cases, they've used both because defining a position for your brand is really a creative game. So first things first, have a look at what the biggest brands in the world have done and take some inspiration from that so you can bring that into your own brand when developing your own positioning strategy. Now I've used some big brands and some medium sized brands as examples here, but forget about the budgets involved, forget about the size of the brand, the innovation, the technology, and step back and think more so of the high level idea, their understanding of their marketplace, their competitors, and more specifically, specifically who their audience is and the problems that they have. And then you'll be able to look at how they've gone about positioning their brand in the mind of their audience and you can take that strategic thinking into your own processes. Now the first brand positioning example I've got for you is Chipotle. Now for years Taco Bell ruled the roost of the Mexican fast food restaurant industry within the US, but then Chipotle came along and they really put a focus on quality. Using the tagline food with integrity to help associate the brand with quality and earn that position in the mind of their audience, they're now well positioned to ride this growing wave of conscious eaters. Their position enhancing tagline is far more than just a branding message as well, as it clearly communicates the beliefs and the values of the internal brand of Chipotle. From its use of fresh local products and hand prepared meals, Chipotle is a brand with substance and it does follow through on the values that it says it has, earning loyal customers and brand advocates along the way. When it comes to fast food, there are plenty of options out there in the US market, but when it comes to fresh, locally produced, handmade Mexican food, there is only one Chipotle and that is sitting in a strong position in the market. Now, this is a great example of niching down by being specific about who the brand is and what they do and who they do it for. As the saying goes, the riches are in the niches and Chipotle have carved out a substantial position in a niche that's growing rapidly. Now, the second example of brand positioning I'm gonna use here is Tesla. And Tesla is a company pioneering the way forward to sustainable energy. And when Elon Musk came along and took over in 2008, he repositioned Tesla as the new technology for clean energy. With engaging storytelling, a prestige pricing strategy, and a target market segmentation, they've created a demand and a subsequent market for a premium all-electric luxury car. Tesla is not the only brand providing luxury cars. It's not the only brand providing electric cars, and it's not even the only brand providing luxury electric cars, but it is the only brand exclusively providing luxury electric cars, and in turn, it's setting the pace in this new industry. Another unique aspect to the position it holds in the market is the purpose from which that position stems. Tesla's mission is to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy, and their new technologies are pushing the industry forward, specifically with the range of their cars and what range those cars can accomplish. As they move into the affordable car market space, they bring with them this self-esteem that comes from their association with high-end exclusivity and luxury. Tesla is a trendsetter and a pace setter within the luxury electric car sector, and its pioneering spirit sprinkles an element of magic across the whole brand. Brand positioning example number three is Apple. Now, Apple is just about as close as you can get to the picture perfect example of what a strong brand looks like. With their unapologetic premium pricing, innovative technology, and an end-to-end -end experience that their customers actually salivate over, Apple knows that they're more than a company that sells computers. Now, we all know the story of Steve Jobs. His vision of a brand that could help to change the world is now stuff of legend, and it fits in almost poetically 
with the position that they now hold. Since Apple encouraged their customers to think differently, they've aligned themselves with an idea that those who think differently can actually go out and change the world. By purchasing Apple products, their customers align themselves with this innovative, imaginative, and creative characteristics that they hold in such esteem. Apple are the kings of technology, and although their technology has helped to change the world, it's the strength of their brand that's given them the freedom to continue this innovation for so long. Whether it's your brother, your mother, or your best friend, we all know somebody that owns an Apple product. They self-associate with Apple characteristics and they proudly deem themselves as an Apple advocate. Now, a position like this is not exactly replicable, but you can certainly aspire to mean more to your customers than just the transactions that you share with them. Now, the fourth example of brand positioning that we're gonna run with is the Dollar Shave Club. Now, the Dollar Shave Club came into the market and executed an against position almost to perfection. Now, an against position is when the brand positions itself as an alternative to a specific brand or a group of brands in the marketplace, and they're often well-established brands. Without the benefit of a budget, a marketing agency, or even a marketing department, the Dollar Shave Club set in place a series of business practices and marketing tactics that catapulted the founder to stardom and riches. Gillette had been sitting on their lofty perch with about 85% of the men's razor blade market when the Dollar Shave Club came along. Now, they told the frustrated market segment what they already knew and they needed to hear. They didn't need to pay inflated prices for overdeveloped razors just to have a smooth shave. There were better, cheaper, and easier ways to do that, and of course, that's exactly what the Dollar Shave Club offered. The Dollar Shave Club caught Gillette resting on its laurels and went on to steal over 50% of the online men's razor blade market before Unilever came in and swooped down with a $1 billion takeover. Yet that's $1 billion with a capital B, all from a startup with no money. The fifth example of brand positioning is Nike. Now, Nike was born from a competitive track and field heritage in Portland, Oregon, and it was built on old school innovation that involved a story of a household waffle iron. Now, if you don't know it, go and grab yourself a copy of Shoe Dog by Nike's founder, Phil Knight. I really enjoyed that book, and it tells the story of how Nike was born and how it became the brand that it is today. Their competitive and innovative characteristics have become part of the DNA of the Nike brand, and it has led them to become one of the undisputed heavyweight brands of the world. Though the brand began as a business selling running shoes, they've leveraged their reputation and quality and association with winning to expand the brand into broader athletic wear and fashion as well. Since 1987, when they ran the Just Do It campaign for the first time, Nike has transcended beyond just a business that sells running shoes, and they've amassed an army of loyal followers who share the same competitive play to win attitude. Their alignment with the most successful athletes on the planet in key sports such as NFL, NBA, soccer, and tennis, and many, many more, ensures that their brand is associated with moments of triumph. The position of the brand has now evolved beyond a differentiation strategy, and it represents a much broader idea. And that idea is that Nike is a brand for winners. The sixth example that we have of brand positioning is HubSpot. Now, HubSpot began as an email marketing tool and it coined the term that's now become synonymous with content marketing, which is inbound marketing. While many of us like to use individual or specialized brands that stay in their lane and don't give us something half-baked as an add-on, on the web, the name of the game is integration. Now, anyone in the online business world can attest to losing days or even weeks trying to get one piece of software talking to another piece of software so it just works. HubSpot have evolved organically to meet the needs of their customers with software and a platform that's integrated out of the box, with everything from marketing automation to CRM to sales and service. Their early market advantage has given them a head start on their competitors that have come late to the party. And the nature of their business means that their customers can't just up and leave without some serious effort to do so. So they've got a really long lifetime customer value. These factors along with their customer focused approach and the ability to evolve has seen HubSpot's position grow in strength and they're without a doubt one of the dominant digital marketing platform brands. The seventh example that we have of brand positioning is JetBlue. Now before JetBlue came onto the scene, 
The idea around air travel was that competitive fares and comfortable travel were mutually exclusive. You either sacrificed the comfort for the savings in cost, or you sacrificed the dollars for the comfort. You couldn't have both, you had to choose. It was either one or the other. JetBlue came onto the scene with a refreshing focus on bringing fun, comfort, and value into the US domestic air travel market. So perks such as extensive in-flight entertainment, comfortable leather seating, and additional legroom disrupted traditional budget air travel and earned JetBlue a reputation and a strong position as the go-to airline for value within the US. This is a classic example of a brand going against the grain of industry norms to give their audience a fresh alternative. Now, let's be real here. You're not going to be able to go out straight away and pull off a positioning strategy like Apple or Nike. And these are brands that own much, much broader positions in the marketplace. And these positions weren't just owned from the get-go. They didn't come out of, of the gates and own these positions straight away. These positions evolved over time based on the success of that brand and they've evolved into much broader ideas. So it's not something that you'd be able to implement straight away, but definitely something that you can think about longer term. But the other examples, the Dollar Shave Club, JetBlue, Chipotle, these are all positions that have been taken in the marketplace based on an understanding of that marketplace and an understanding of who their audience is, what they want and the problems and challenges that they have. And these are definitely ideas that you can take into your own brand and apply to your own positioning strategy. So take a step back, look at your overall marketplace, look at your audience and the challenges that they have and what your competitors are doing and what you're gonna be able to do differently. And that is a great place to start when defining your own brand position. But I really would love to hear from you what is your favorite example of brand positioning. Have you seen anything out there in the marketplace? Have you seen anything that has grabbed your attention? Have you seen a brand that you've thought to yourself, wow, that's something different. I haven't seen anything like that before. If you've got examples of that, let me know in the comments. And if you're building a brand as well, are you building it for yourself? Are you building it for a client? And if so, what are your biggest challenges when it comes to positioning, to, to building uh, and developing a brand position. Let me know in the comments. If you have any questions at all, let me know as well. I will do my best to answer all those questions. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to see more videos like this. Until then, go forth, take inspiration, look at what the best brands in the world are doing to position their brands. Take that into your own processes, put your own spin on it and position your brand effectively. Until then, I will see you in the next video.